So I think I have to start now. So uh, my presentation is how to be an ISS flight controller without being a flight controller. So this sounds like it doesn't work, but as you know, most of you know that my profile picture on Twitter is like this. And uh, I get asked and asked, are you a flight controller? Are you a flight controller? And no, I'm not. I'm not even work for ESA or DLR or any other space agency yet. Well, uh, so what's the story about? So most of you follow like a spacewalk, as you can see here, like this. Well, I do it like this. So uh, as you can see, you have a lot of data. You have uh, like NASA TV there. You have uh, uh, tracking with Russian telemetry. Everything is live, so this is live telemetry. Um, and there you have Space Station Live. So these are all the data that are publicly available. So none of the data I tweet about are are secret data. They are all available on the web, and uh, yeah, you can you can use them. You can uh, find out a lot of things that you don't find out if you just listen to NASA television. Like, uh, well, how does it work? It doesn't work. So on the lower lower left, you see all the environmental data, so temperature, you see, you see um, the pressure inside the airlock, and it's very interesting, if there's an, if, if there's an, an EVA going on, you, you actually see how the pressure is decreasing, and uh, I think it's very interesting. Does it work? Yeah, so it, it doesn't matter. So uh, on the lower left, then you see the uh, KU. Oh yes. Oh, doesn't work either. What? Doesn't work. Yeah. So anyway, uh, on the left, the. Um, there you can see a KU downlink capability, so you see how the how the antenna is back retracting, and you see okay now it's like two minutes. Then we have uh, KU coverage again, so KU does mean uh, we have video downlink. So if there's no downlink, you can see on this data how long it will take uh, when we have this data back. You, on the on the upper left, maybe most of you were in the control center. You saw this timeline, and this is a public version of it. You can uh, uh, select all the uh, astronaut, and uh, you uh, can see what they are doing right now. Um, if it's uh, day or night outside the station, if you see, you see if the uh, the station is right now in contact with the ground, uh, you see uh, if the uh, solar rays are rotating or not. Sometimes they don't because they do spacewalks or they do uh, attitude change because they do a reboost or something like this. Um, you see the different attitude modes, so this is, uh, I think, it's very interesting uh, when you see all these data because, uh, yeah. So this is another one I wanted to show you. This is uh, actually the ATV undocking. Um, on the lower right you see uh, the point, is, there should be uh, like uh, a red triangle, and it's indicating there is a point where the ATV is undocking, so you Again, see uh, the Kines live stream. So for those guys that using uh, Gem IP, you need to have the YouTube unblogger because uh, unfortunately YouTube doesn't allow live streams on YouTube in Germany. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, you have again NASA television. You have again the live telemetry downlink. You have uh, on the lower left, you have uh, the uh, control moment gyros. Uh, and the the arrow. This is very interesting because if you compare it with my next uh, slide, you will notice that the arrow is much less because you can see on the lower right, you can see the ice is right now in free drift because right in, 
before they have to unduck or in the process of unducking the ice is in, is in free drift. So you see two indications that is noting free drift. The one is the American, this is the uh, control moment gyros, and the other one is the Russian segment. Uh, this is also, in, uh, so they, they use thrusters for, uh, for attitude control, but this is also in free drift, so they have both modes are in free drift. The uh, solar rays are, are not rotating, the solar alpha rotary joints are in shutdown mode. So uh, this is yeah, very, very interesting if you follow events like, for me it's interesting, maybe it's also for you interesting. So, so again we have space station life over there. And yeah, there's another one, this is uh, a day before. Um, this was very interesting because it was not shown live on another television. So I had I used the ISS live stream. The ISS live stream provides you with uh, the upper right uh, a view where you have the uh, here. So this is not shown live on the web. You can just uh, uh, view the upper right, upper left of these six uh, live streams uh, on the web. But you have also the space-to-ground communication. So if Andrea or all the other Eurocom flight controllers are like to talk with the ISS, you can listen to them if they speak to the station. So this is very, very interesting. So sometimes I hear Andrea talking on my PC. And uh, well, yeah, that's interesting because here now you have not uh, another television showing, but you have the timeline and uh, there was a very interesting event because there they shut down the hatches for ATV the final time. So there's again another t in, uh, space station live and there you can see Alexander is uh, shutting down the ATV hatch um, together with Samantha. So down, down you see again the, uh, the control moment gyros and as I mentioned uh, you see there's not that much of error degree because the ISS is an attitude control as you can see on the uh, lower right and the solar rays are rotating as you can see on the right. So it is calling now auto track. So what do we do with all this information? Of course I put them on Twitter. Uh, I, of course, yeah, there we go. If again, another television. This was uh, the Soyuz undocking uh, a few week, a few days ago, uh, when uh, Butch Wilmore, uh, Alexander Samakutyev, and Yelena Sovova came back from Earth. And I actually got help from a, a NASA flight controller because I asked them about attitude controls because I found out that normally uh, they go in, in free drift with the US control moment gyros, but this time they did it with uh, just the control moment gyros and didn't go, went in free drift with the just with the Russian segment, and it was very unusual. I noticed that because I, I, I see how they do it on the normal way, and I, I, I wrote him, and I, he, he gave me a very detailed answer, so it's very awesome that I have Twitter to interact with real flight controllers, and I get awesome information from them, and I can share it with you. Um, yeah, again, we have Space Station Live here, but I don't uh, need to mention this again. So here, this is a, a, a screenshot I took uh, on Wednesday. Again, we have live stream, uh, ISS live stream over there. We have the Russian live telemetry over there. But this time we have the DLR ISS timeline on the upper left. And why do we have this? So uh, this is also another source. It looks, looks a little bit more that, like the real timeline, but it has actually less information. Um, why do I have to do this? Because this is what the real uh, website is showing. And that's the problem uh, uh, we have with all this live telemetry. There has to be a guy behind it that is updating when there is crew change. So they changed the crew because uh, uh, Terry Words is no commander and not, not, in, not a, in space, in, in, uh, in, uh, flight engineer anymore and uh, the complete timeline is broken and nobody at NASA noted, is, noted this so far. And this, is, this really sucks because uh, then you have four weeks, you have no data at all. And this is very annoying. 
Um, well, maybe uh, the flight controllers here know that a few years ago there were just four instead of these six uh, uh, downlinks. Um, but the but the website never noticed this change, and they still just showing four of them. And of course, uh, the data are not right. So nobody is really taking care of this data. The websites are available, but uh, nobody's really taking care of this. So, uh, well, it would be great if there, there's m more support of this kind of data because it helps me to get a lot of information. It helps uh, you to get this information too, and it's great. So there are other sources. They, this is Russian, so there you can find this is the best website where you can find all information about uh, what events are going up. Uh, I don't know where they get the, this information, but it's, this is the website where you get this information first. Um, there's another more awesome sources I'd like to show you. This is uh, the nasaspacelot.com. There, there you can find a lot of awesome, awesome information. And you can find the, uh, yeah, the website of the Russian MCC where I got this telemetry data from and also undocking and landing data. So, here you come to the end of my presentation. So, here I am again. I'm not working for ESA right now, not for DLR or anything, but I hope I do one day in the future, because this is my big dream, to become one day a flight controller. And I'd like to thank you for your attention, and I'm now open for questions. Okay, we have time for one question, if there is one. Yes. Again, it's maybe not a question, but a compliment. Um, you are doing a more professional job than some of us are doing. You're extremely well organized. You get your information from amazing places that... Um, so I, I'm very impressed with what you're doing, and if I would be a boss or anything, I would certainly want you to be on my team. So keep up the great job. Thank you.